what's up welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all doing well today's video is another starting brandy video and if this is your first time watching a starting brandy video starting brandy is a series I'm doing where I bring you guys along while I train my little Philly brandy <laughs> this is not meant to be a training video it's not meant to tell you guys how to do things I'm just bringing you guys along that's just a little disclaimer <laughs> if you do have Instagram make sure to follow me because I'm constantly giving updates on there and talking about certain things but I realize that not all of you have Instagram so a lot of you may not know that I talked about starting my other YouTube channel again before I actually started making videos on this channel I had another channel <laughs> I think some of you might know but it's called Cindy Valentina and I used to do like beauty and fashion and lifestyle videos on there they're really 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 cringy and slightly embarrassing so just keep that in mind if you're gonna go over there and watch some of the videos <laughs> I had quit the channel I think two years ago was the last video I uploaded in the video that I just uploaded onto that channel I talked about why I quit and I gave some tips to new youtubers so if you're interested in seeing my life outside of horses please check out my other channel that is not mean I'm giving up on this channel no 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 no. <laughs> do not worry I absolutely love this channel you guys it just means I'm gonna try and do both please subscribe and give that video a thumbs up I really hope you guys like it this video is gonna be all about trailer loading and trailering this is extremely important because obviously the horse that you're starting you're gonna eventually want to take them on trail rides to shows to barrel races so making sure they're comfortable with the trailer and being trailered is super super important so that's what I'm gonna talk about today I'm gonna show you guys the things that I did with Brandon and this video is super super cool because I actually got sent a backup camera to try out from the brand Halo View. This is the Halo View 7 inch wired rear view system. I am so excited to try this out. When you're trailering a horse, a lot of things can happen. And if you're like me and you're like super paranoid, something like this is extremely helpful. Well, I haven't even told you guys what I'm going to use it for. But your girl is going to put this backup camera inside the trailer. <laughs> because this is actually a backup camera. You put it in the back of your trailer or in the back of your trailer to like help you reverse and make sure that there's nothing behind you you know when you're pulling big rigs it's kind of hard to see directly behind the trailer but I actually decided to put it inside the trailer let me know if this happens to you guys too but when I'm trailering the horses sometimes you hear a thump or sometimes you might have stopped a little too hard like there's a lot of things that make you second guess yourself when it comes to trailering a horse so I actually decided to put the camera inside the trailer to help with that stuff because if you're driving doing a road trip you cannot stop every 10 minutes to go and check on the horses but if you're paranoid like me every little sound is gonna make you want to stop and check on the horses <laughs> when they sent me this camera I asked them I'm like hey is it cool for me to like put it inside the trailer like can I do that and they're like yeah go ahead so that's what your girl did Rob actually already started the installation process with the cables this is the monitor and this is the little camera this not only records video in color but it also records sound which is the craziest thing I was so shocked when we were inside the trailer like trying to decide where we're gonna put it I I was like talking to Rob through this thing so he can hear me with the monitor inside the truck you can hear the horse's neighing or if something happens you can hear it I don't know this is really cool you can use the wireless one or the wired one but I decided to get the wired one just because I was putting it inside the trailer and I didn't want the aluminum to mess with any of that so I got the wired one and you can install several cameras like if you get three cameras you can see all three cameras on the monitor if you decide to put one in the trailer behind the trailer or put one behind the truck to help you hitch up your trailer there's two different ways you can install the monitor it comes with this little attachment this is just a little sticker that you peel off and you just stick it anywhere you want to watch the horses while you're driving You can bend all these little pieces to hug the area you're sticking it on or you can also drill it So this just kind of goes here on the sides and then this is the little cover So the Sun doesn't affect your view when you're driving and then you just uh, connect it to the monitor for power I really wish I had it when I was actually starting brandy especially for yearlings and young horses that you're just starting to trailer It's so important to keep an eye on them because sometimes they freak out they go crazy inside the trailer Trailer. Sometimes it's dangerous to have someone in the trailer making sure they're okay So having something like this like a camera to watch them while you're driving in case of an emergency Or if they start freaking out too bad you can see that and stop and settle things down <laughs> If you look into trailer camera systems like that are specifically designed for horse trailers, they're so expensive I've looked into it before because I've always wanted a camera to watch the horses So doing something like this getting a backup camera to put inside your horse trailer to watch the horses is such a good idea And it's like a little hack I guess <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm really excited to see how it works especially for this video where I'm actually gonna start trailering Brandy I will leave the link to the camera in my description box if you guys are interested so yeah okay I feel like I talked forever I'm so sorry if you're excited about this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new please subscribe my name is Cindy okay let's get started <laughs> 
So originally I had put up the camera by the back doors of the trailer looking towards the horses But I realized that I'd rather see the doors too, you know, what if one of them swings open? What if a car drives through the back of the trailer? I'm crazy, I know But I'm like, you know what, I'd rather have it from the front facing back so I can see the doors in case of an emergency So these are some of the pictures I took You could see the butt of the horse and then the head But now I think I'm gonna put it like this way, exactly like this And here's the monitor, I think I'm gonna stick it instead of drilling it I think I'm gonna put it right here there's like a little swivel right here in the middle you can angle the monitor to face any which direction like that I'm sorry about the truck. It's so gross and dirty. We have to clean it. I know so Rob actually ran the cables Underneath the truck if we had one long cable Then we would have to disconnect and pull the cable through each time we wanted to unhitch the truck and trailer So we decided to get two and have them meet in the middle So one is already inside the trailer and then one's in the truck and then whenever we hitch up the truck and trailer We just connect them right in the middle. So this is our current view Rob's gonna move it around so I can pick a spot. Oh, that looks good. So Rob's coming back, he's getting the drill. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys how we installed it. Here's the cable. Rob drilled a little hole up there and then he ran it through the trailer. So it goes out through the trailer back there and then it comes out from over here. So here it is and it connects right here to the one that's being run through the truck. So it runs under the truck and then it comes out right here where the pedals are and it connects to the monitor. I know it seems a little bit confusing, but it has three attachments. Like you can choose to put three cameras. So you just attach each of the cables from each camera to these receivers. So this is the cable that's run underneath the truck that's connected to the trailer. And then we connect it to this, which is then connected to the monitor right here. This is the little power source for the monitor. I know that's a little bit confusing, but the instructions aren't hard at all. <laughs> camera is up. We just used a drill to drill a hole, a screwdriver to put the screws in, or a drill. And then this little, what's this called? Hole dozer? A hole dozer? <laughs> just to make those little holes in the aluminum. Alright guys, the camera is live. This is the view so far of the horse trailer with no horses in it. Now I'm just gonna stick this to the truck with this little backside. I just gotta peel the sticker off. Cam 3. I should have cleaned the surface before I stuck it on, but oh well. And now, every time we hook up the trailer, we also have the little cable for the camera. So they're just both here, right next to each other, so we can easily just connect everything every time we hitch up. Alright you guys, so because I did so much exposure when she was a yearling, I never really had too much trouble loading her into the horse trailer. So this video isn't gonna be an example for problem horses. Crystal was actually a problem horse when it came to the horse trailer. When I first got her, it was a struggle to get her into the trailer, and now she just walks right in on her own so if you'd like me to make a video and show you guys how I worked with crystal let me know leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely make a separate video on that but this video is mostly just how I started brandy specifically She's already going in by herself. <laughs> so the way I loaded her was through pressure and release. I would apply pressure on the lead rope. As soon as she stepped forward, I would release that pressure as her reward. I would walk in right next to her, apply pressure to that lead rope, and as soon as she stepped forward and gave into that pressure, I would release. Eventually, she just learned to walk right in. I would always walk in with her, like this. Now I'm not putting any pressure. I also made sure to back her up. I didn't want her turning around into the trailer. I wanted her to learn that she always has to back out of the trailer. I would let her bring her two feet forward onto the ramp. Let her stand there for a second. Say, good girl. And I would back her up again. In order to teach her not to rush out, I would back her up and make her stop in the middle, take a break, relax, and then continue to back up. Because that happens a lot with Crystal. As soon as she felt herself backing up, that's it. She would boom, 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 rush back. And I didn't want that for Brandy, and now Crystal's so much better with that. But making sure to always stop her as a reminder in between the backup to show her, hey, it's okay to stop. I don't want them to be scared. Just like I did with the obstacles in the first starting Brandy video, I would stop her in the middle of the obstacle to make sure she wasn't rushing through them and she wasn't fearful of them so that's what I did here with the horse trailer I'm trying to figure out the best angle for this camera but so I'm gonna go ahead and back her up now but I'm gonna make sure to stop her in the middle of her backup to make sure she's not rushing out here good girl again I'm gonna ask her to come back in good girl 
back her up again. I'm gonna stop right here, bring her forward, stop right here, come all the way in again, and then back her up completely. Right into my camera, huh? Because of all the exposure I did to the horse trailer at an early age, I didn't have too much trouble loading her. So instead of focusing on fixing any problems that she would have had, I focused more on teaching her good habits. First, backing completely out of the trailer. I want all four feet to be off of the trailer and on the grass. What I see a lot of horses do is they'll back up up to here. Her front legs are still on the ramp and then they'll turn and walk off. I wanted her to learn to always back completely off of the horse trailer. So instead of having her two front legs here, and then crossing over and just walking off like this. I wanted her to back, back up completely off of the trailer like that. So all four legs are off. So that's one of the things I always made sure to do with her. Another thing I did was I wanted to make sure that I could walk in and out of the horse trailer without having her back up every time she felt me walk in this direction. Because when I'm by myself at a rodeo or a barrel race or at a trail ride and I don't have someone with me to close the door behind her, I want to be able to bring her in, not have to tie her, and walk out to close the door without having her back up until I ask her to. So right now she's not tied. I want to be able to do this and not have her back up. So that was perfect. I wanna be able to come in and out multiple times. If I need to, come around, do all this. She's not tied right now. So I wanna be able to do all of this without having her back up until I ask her to. I also made sure to load her on both sides of the trailer just so she wouldn't get used to loading always on the same side and then maybe get uncomfortable or nervous with the other side. Sometimes I would load her on the left, sometimes on the right. So I would load her over here. I would load her on this side. So yeah, making sure she was comfortable with loading on both sides of the trailer was very important to me as well. her used to the trailer and I knew I could load her in and out with no problem I started to drive around the property just to get her used to the movements of the trailer she hasn't had much experience being alone in the trailer so she still acts up sometimes so I'm excited to see what she does when I drive especially with the monitor and the camera that I have up now okay she's moving so much I can hear everything inside the trailer can you hear that this is the coolest thing. She was moving a lot when I was just parked, but now that the trailer started moving, she's doing a lot better. She's just looking around. It's a really gloomy day and it's raining and the camera just turned into night vision. That's crazy, it went back, but it keeps going back and forth between night vision and the regular. It's black and white now. That's so cool! So you can see at night too. You can also adjust the volume of the monitor. So once I felt like she was comfortable with the trailer and being inside and the movements of it and everything, I eventually started to just drive her around, get her used to the sounds of traffic and car horns and trucks and cars flying by the sides of the trailer, just to get her used to all of that. back home brandy did such a good job i've been watching her this whole time on the monitor unfortunately it fell off from where i stuck it but i think that's because i didn't clean the surface before sticking it on <laughs> and this car's gross and dusty so i think that's what it was but i i can hear everything i heard her neighing at all the horses we drove by i can hear the rattling in the horse trailer it's so cool i absolutely love it so thank you so much to halo view for sending me this camera i will leave the link in my description box if you guys are interested in it hopefully you guys found this video helpful oh and if you guys want me to make a video showing you how I worked with Crystal leave me a comment down below letting me know because she was a problem loader <laughs> now she literally loads herself I'm so happy about that I'm so proud that we were able to get to that point if you guys want me to show you how I did that leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely film a video for you thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye hello girl you did so good baby